You're such an asshole. And, uh, an Aussie a day keeps the Cappy employed for a day. Uh, we got a lot of you Aussies sending me requests, which is awesome. Because I like having a diversified client base. Hey, Aaron, I'll try to keep this short. Last year, my father passed away and received a significant amount of money to the tune of $100,000, $100,000 Australian dollars, approximately 95000 remains after I paid off what was left of my student loans for my short stint in university. I realized that as a 23-year-old, this puts me financially in a better position than the vast majority of those in my age group, and I'm looking for guidance on what to do to make the best of my advantages. I have a few quali qualifications. I have a certificate in IT and have finished high school, and I have been in the workforce for approximately six years, working at various fast food franchises and other restaurants. All right, dude, you got to fucking up your game. I, it, it's, I mean, are you working IT in the fast food, or are you working fast food? At the moment, I am not working. I'm living off my savings from my previous job, albeit on a tight budget. My current plan is to wait for the next semester at a technical college and further my IT education, getting a diploma or advanced diploma within two years. And in the meantime, I'll get my motorcycle and car license. Holy shit! You fucking hell! You're a loser, all right? You're a loser. You're, you've been working fast food for like six years, and you still don't have your fucking... What is the age you get your license in Australia? If it's 23, I'll take that back. But something tells me age 23. What age can you legally drive in Australia? What is the age limit to drive in? Is that the... Ba -ba -ba -ba? Oh, Answers.com, where we fucking load your computer up with more fucking advertising bullshit. There's no max up at the minimum. 16, just like here. Dude, fucking stop being a loser. All right? You're, if you're going to continue down your path, you're going to piss away this $100,000. It's not enough to live on for the rest of your life. But it is yours to fuck this shit up, which I appreciate you contacting Asshole Consulting. But let's start right now with you being a fucking loser. Six years in fast food. Like I said, it better be in motherfucking IT. But since you don't even have your fucking license, fucking hell, what do you do? Sit at home all day jerking off the porn while you eat the fucking fast food you just made? After I get my own transport, I wish to get certified as a security guard. Now, wait, where did the security And look for work in that area. And if it's viable, continue that work while studying. Okay, that makes sense. I'm also learning sign language. No, 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 no. Listen, dipshit, you're like spraying all over the place. Fucking focus and put together a cohesive plan. All right? Why would you learn security or uh, sign language? What is that? Does that have anything to do with your IT work? What? To pad out my resume and gain a valuable skill? Very interesting. Let's see what sign language translators make. At least here in the U.S. Sign language real labor statistics. Now we'd have to adjust for the exchange rate. Interpreters and translators. Let's see what they make. Ooh, 44000 a year. That's median. Median. Average. Like, the guy has 10 years' experience doing it. All right? And that's not a lot here in the U.S., and I presume it's not going to be a lot down in Australia. No, you're not going to fucking learn sign language. God almighty. With the rest of my free time, I've been going to the gym and working out on losing weight. I even quit smoking. Outstanding. There you go. The vast majority of my money is a term deposit for one year at 3.8%. That's good. Uh, my question is first, is my current plan a good one, and are there any ways that I could approve it? Yeah, fucking focus, all right? Get your motherfucking license. I would buy a reasonably reliable car. Don't buy a fancy car with this money, okay? Do not. Buy a good used car, all right? Don't spend more. You should be able, well, I don't know what the market's like over there in Australia, but at least here in the U.S., you could find a good used car for about 5000 about 5000 U.S. dollars. I get some tools, and instead of learning sign language, I'd learn how to do auto repair and maintenance. That's what I would learn. I would also get a motorcycle, though, too, because if your car goes down, then you can drive your motorcycle, and that actually helps um, because then you're not in desperation. You have to drive it to the mechanic or get it to or tow it to the mechanic, and then you spend up, end up spending more money. So it's always good to have a plan B, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, like two vehicles. People gave me shit for that in the olden days. And they was like, why do you have two pieces of shit? Why don't you buy one good car? Uh, because you dumb shit, I get one good car and then that breaks down, which it will, uh, then I'm fucked. And I never had any troubles, except one day when all three of my cars broke down. I'm like, fuck you, God. That was proof God exists and he is an asshole. 
the other thing, yeah, you're not doing that uh, security guard work. Uh, you're not doing the sign language work. Yes, become a security guard. Yes, get your IT skills. Go to that would be, that would be what I would be doing. Security guard at night, school during the day, and you use security guard to work and get your uh, to study and get your IT certification. Uh, second, after the term deposit ends, what should I invest the money in, if anything? Well, I'd invest it in your education. Uh, you're in Melbourne, so it's you're not going to buy a house with that. You're not even probably going to have a down payment. Plus, the housing market in Melbourne's um, uh, the, the hyperinflated. I wouldn't do that. Uh, I would just use the money. Just just put it back in that safety term deposit, whatever uh, that that rate of return you have. There's something safe. Preserve your capital. Preserve it. Use some of it. You're investing in yourself. That's what you're doing. So you're going to get transportation, not fancy, reliable and cheap transportation in the form of a, a decent, not awesome, a decent or adequate car or motorcycle. You will then go to college, uh, and then the rest of it, just let it stay there. Let it stay there, okay? First, you get some skills and qualifications, and then when you graduate and then you have a job, then you can say, all right, now do I want to move back to Tasmania? You said you're in Tasmania. Do I want to maybe invest in something a little bit more risky because you'll have the lion's share of it left? Okay, maybe invest in a diversified portfolio, but you're not at that crossroads yet, all right? This is your dad taking care of you in the afterlife. That's what this money is. This is your dad kind of helping you out. Right? So the first thing you got to do is get the fucking skills and some fucking career going on. Get a job. Get a career. Get employment. After that, and you kind of, okay, here we are. Now we're at base two. What's the next step? And then at that point in time in your life, say, all right, now I know what I want to do with this money. Maybe a down payment in Tasmania. Maybe investing in something else. I don't know. Uh, but you're not there yet. Okay. So just keep it safe. Keep it preserved. Get you, you're basically getting yourself out of Loserville, and then you're going to go into Winnersville, and, and then worry about what to do with the money later. I right, hope that helps. Toodles.